South Dakota. It's day one, and we are just in some absolutely gorgeous country right now. We're just kind of soaking it in. But we're in an area where the Badlands meets up with kind of these rolling plains, and uh, we're seeing some buffalo in the Badlands, but we're seeing a lot more buffalo in these rolling plains. And we're right on the edge of the Badlands. We're basically like on one of the last bluffs there are, and we're overlooking these plains. And uh, it's, uh, I mean, I just, I wish the, the video would do justice to what our eyes can see right now. It's just absolutely gorgeous country, but we're starting to get into the buffalo. We're starting to see a few buffalo for sure. And now it's just a matter of picking out a big one and going after him. We've, we're a couple boys from Kansas, so we've never, never gone after a large animal like this. And I've heard stories and I've read a lot about them, and for the most part they're a herd animal, so I don't think they're too afraid of you, and that's a good thing. Bad thing is they're not too afraid of you, so I don't know if we're going to be able to walk right up on them. Or if we're gonna, I'm sure we'll have to do some sneaking to some extent, but we don't have any idea what we're in, in for ourselves yet, but we're going to pick out a big one, go after them, hopefully, <laughs> Lord willing, hopefully we don't get caught into a stampede, and hopefully one of them doesn't charge us, but it's looking like some of these big ones are kind of hanging out by themselves. Looks like the older bulls are kind of hanging off by themselves. So, we're just going to see if we just can't single one out and go after him. I don't know. I guess we're going to see what we can do. Nothing else. We're going to have fun chasing them for the next few days. So. in South Dakota's buffalo hut and uh, we've got a freaking giant located. He's just up over this hill here and I've never stalked a buffalo but we're going to give it a shot. He's all by himself out here. We've seen a lot of buffalo today and uh, just a lot of spot and stock and a lot of glass and stuff and we've seen a lot of, a lot of good buffalo but this sucker is an absolute giant so we're uh I don't know, I guess we're just going to start sneaking up here, walking up towards him, and hopefully we don't tick him off. We uh, we have nothing to hide behind around here. There's no trees or nothing, so it's just us and him, and I, this moment's starting to get pretty intense right now. I'm not going to lie, my heart's starting to beat pretty fast. But, uh, yeah, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. And like I said, there's absolutely nothing to run around or hide behind, so this is... For a guy who hunts whitetail, this is a definitely a different animal, so. It's the moment of truth, I guess. Here we go. Let's give it a shot. Well, we've got about as far as we can get, and now... He knows we're here, so. Right now, he doesn't look like he's too afraid of us. He just, he knows we're here, there's no question. He's just, he'll look at us, but then he'll put his head back down and he'll just kind of graze on the grass.
probably about 70 yards away from him right now. I mean, we're in a wide open so I mean, there's nothing else we can do but walk right up on him. Yeah, I guess we're just going to ease on up there. And if we can get within, man, if we can get within 50 yards of him, I think I'm going to shoot him. But I know I'm good out to 50, so I don't know if I want to get any closer. The good thing is he's not afraid of us, so I think he's letting us get fairly close to him. Bad thing is, he's not afraid of us, so I guess we're just going to slowly ease on up here and hopefully he'll let us get close enough to get a shot on him, so. And he's running off. This, this is going to be tougher than I thought. Yes, it is. Well, I guess that's what I'm going to do. Maybe get out of sight. We come up underneath of him. Yeah. So we're just we're just keep up him all over. All right, let's give him a shot. The last thing I wanted to do was to put a bad shot on this animal. One, out of respect for the animal, and two, well, obviously for our safety. I definitely didn't want to tick off the largest land animal in North America. Another problem that we ran into was that these animals are so big that they look closer than they actually were so it was imperative that we got a good range on him each time. And it seemed as though that every time we were ready to go, the animal would start to run off. You want him? Yeah. You got to be kidding me. Stop running. Hey, stop running. With every stock we made, each one became more frustrating than the last one. The animals clearly weren't afraid of us. They were just simply allowing us to exist. But they weren't afraid to let us know when we got too close either. 
It seemed as though that every time we'd break that 70-yard barrier, they'd square up with us and face us head on, as if to tell us that we needed to back off. This also made it incredibly tough to get that broadside shot that we were needing. What we thought was going to be an easy hunt was starting to look as though it wasn't going to happen at all. You ready? Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> What's the deal? This is not easy at all. We've been chasing this thing for miles. We started in the morning. And we don't have much daylight left. It's unbelievable. But with each new day comes a new set of opportunities. Well, we got a bunch of buffalo right there, but I just don't think there's any big, big bulls that we want to go after. We chased a couple single ones around yesterday and chased them all day. I just don't know if we're going to get it done or not, but I think there's we got some more buffalo up over this hill. I think we're going to walk over there and check that out. But We're trying to get the biggest one we can get. There's just no big ones in that herd. so We're going to ease over the next ridge here and check it out and see if we can't find something to go after. Well, I just shot my first buffalo ever, and uh, we shot him there at 40 yards. We finally have been chasing these suckers all over. I don't know how many miles we've been chasing them through this snow, and it's it's just been crazy. But we finally, finally just finally got up on one, and uh, there was three bulls, and these bulls are the big bulls are all hanging by themselves. And uh, we've been we've been getting up on single bulls, and then we found these three out here by themselves, and we end up taking what I think was the biggest one. I don't know, they're all big. But uh, we ended up shooting him. We had a 40-yard shot. We had to wait for the one to clear. So we ended up getting a 40-yard shot and shot him and just smoked him. We know we for sure got lung. He just ran over the hill, so I think he's probably, probably dead over the hill. But. Yeah. You can see 
so he busted that off in him. He's, uh, shoot, we got blood all the way back to here. So I know we got good penetration, so there's no doubt we definitely got one lung. We may have got both lungs, but we got some good blood right here. Of course, we know where he went, so we're going to go up over the hill and see if we can't recover him, but first buffalo hunt, and it's absolutely incredible. That's good blood. Well, we're going to ease up over the hill. Should be down, so. There he is. He's down. He's dead. <laughs> Buddy. He's dead. <laughs> I really think this bull's dead. And I cannot tell you how excited I am right now. I mean, I just, I just wanna give him a moment. Like, I just wanna, I just wanna be. Like, I don't wanna put my hands on him yet, you know? I just, almost out of respect. It's like, I just, <sighs> a little choked up. I'm not gonna lie. There's just something about this animal though. I mean, I've wanted to shoot one since I was little. This is a free range buffalo. We're on a free range buffalo hunt. We're out here on I don't know how many thousands of acres. It's ridiculous. You couldn't ask for a better backdrop. We've got, we're in the kind of the rolling plains and we've got badlands. The country's just absolutely gorgeous. And we have got one of the most beautiful animals you could ever ask for. Thank you, God. Thank the good Lord for this. This has just been an awesome trip. Dude, it's awesome, man. This is incredible. Let's go put our hands on it. Do it. Would you look at this beast? Would you absolutely look at this giant beast? Like, are you kidding me, dude? I don't even know where to start. Oh my gosh. Look at the freaking head on this sucker. Would you look at this? I cannot move this thing at all. Oh my gosh, this thing's huge. Oh my dear lord. <laughs> That is all I can take. Would you look at that? I mean, he is absolutely everything I could have wanted. Look, he is huge, man. Oh my gosh, I cannot move that head for nothing. I mean, that is all I can take. Would you look at this thing? This is nothing like a whitetail. Look at the fro on this sucker. The hair and the mane and everything. I mean, look at this huge hump on this sucker, man. I mean, this is a gnarly bull, man. This is a giant. <laughs> I, I would say there's no ground shrinkage on this animal whatsoever. I mean, look at the hump on this thing, man. This is just an absolutely gorgeous animal. There is no way I've got room for him in my house. <laughs> Look at this. I've always wanted to shoot one of these. I'm not kidding. I, uh, my brother worked on a buffalo ranch when I was little. I was probably fifth or sixth grade, and uh, I'd go out there and help him, you know. I probably wasn't much help, but I thought I was helping. And I remember just watching this, these magnificent creatures just walk around and roam. Of course, granted, you know, there was a little more, more of a controlled environment out there, but I remember just looking at them and thinking, I love to shoot one of these things, you know, a free-ranging wild one. That's what we've got. We're out here on, I think we've got like 58,000 acres or something. And it is just, I mean, it's as beautiful as countries you can ask for. 
we got even the snow of all things. I honestly, I wasn't banking on the snow. I was banking on 40 degree weather with no snow. We thought it was going to turn into a nasty hunt with winds and all sorts of stuff. But this hunt has just turned into everything I could have asked for. I mean, just to shoot a giant beast, this is like a, oh, he's like an ancient warrior almost. I mean, this is, there's just so much respect to be paid right here. Gosh, he's just like a, it's a prehistoric creature, man. I mean, it's almost as if, like, shooting one of these animals somehow connects me with the hunters, you know, hundreds if not thousands of years ago. And doing it with a stick and string. I mean, it just couldn't be any better. You're looking at the largest land animal in North America. And we just got it done with a stick and string.